All right. Oh, let's get started. A okay. All right, all right. Did someone say Hundo? What? What about Hundo? What is Hundo? What did I miss? Why are we why is someone saying Hundo? I'm just getting started. What the butts? Did someone say Hundo? I don't know what we're talking about. I legitimately don't. <laughs> I know it's a Broman. Hundo equals 100. Oh, I get it. Okay, sorry, my bad. That makes sense. I understand. I understand now. What's up, Raiders? How's it going? Uh, we're actually just getting started today. Hello. Welcome. Also, oh, apparently Brotato and Bossimus, thank you for the new subs or resubs. Sometimes Twitch calls new subs, or wait a second, resubs new subs, but whatever. And Falcocio, thank you for the bits, that's top tier of the day, earlier. I love ya. You're awesome. But hi. It is I, T-Rex. I might be absent during much of this playthrough, uh, but that's okay. Grumpy Cat Doppelganger. Good day to you as well. What was your old name? I feel like that's a new name. And also Misha with the 21 months. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Welcome back. You are back. Back again. Alright. So, uh, there is new drivers for this game that some folks are saying was improving frame rates. I still get really poopy frame rates at very specific places, and I don't understand why. But I do. Uh, I was here a second ago in this exact same spot, and uh, it was like 43 FPS, and I have no idea why. Right now it's 60. Oh, it went down to 59 again. What is causing that? I wish I knew, because I really don't. Oh, yeah. look at that Risa. Uh, warp. Warp pig. Then we the five months. I was like, warp, but then it was like, I was like, there's more stuff after that. Uh, I hope that it's a good day too, man. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, that, <laughs> nice, Bob boys. Nice. Linen Rodden, thank you for the two years and a month. I love you. You're fucking awesome. Does your Discord just die? Uh, I feel like I can't get Discord to work on my phone. Uh, so I don't know, dude. It was saying there was no service available or so. I don't know. It was weird. I've never seen that error like that. It's only on my phone though. Uh, on, um, on my actual PC, it seemed like it was okay. Okay, so. Welcome to the actual full playthrough of Mass Effect Andromeda now. I can show you whatever the hell that I want. And I'm really excited because uh, we kind of left it a cliffhanger. And I'm really interested. Oh, Discord has crashed. There's an outage. Ah, oh, there you go. I'm picking up something. Oh, is there a different one now? Is there different anomalies every other day? Because there were not anomalies here last time. I found something. Oh, it's for tasks. Okay. Got it. Nope. There's no command for commands. Oh, yeah. Discord just shat itself. All of it's gone now. It died. Guys, do you want to know what I had for lunch? I had Whataburger. It's good. It was good. Arcturian friend on and then I cleaned up my kitchen. Let's check it out. It was a good day. Ooh, bunch of stuff. Oh, it's the orbital cache they were talking about. That's right. It was the one woman who he took out a cryo. That makes sense, okay. And she mentioned that if she was Cat, she would basically do, she would drop things in specific areas 
for smuggling purposes and outfitting. I have not had pot bellies in Austin yet, no. Cat supplies. Just Give. Like Dark suggested. Ooh, more viability. I almost got another for another point. Which is good. Nice. Real quick, I think that might have taken up um some inventory slots and I want to dump those out. Did it? I don't know. I don't know if those things are used for crafting or not. God, this game is gorgeous. Coolest part, hands down. Like, right now, like, my game is frame ready, which is causing my OBS to be frame ready, and I don't know why. I just wish I understood. It's so weird. Neglect adds character. What is causing a... Pr oh, whatever. We're just gonna have to live with it. Game is imperfect and causes some weirdness with streaming. It's also part of the reason why I want to keep the webcam gone, is so that way you re don't realize it as much. It's really obvious on, uh... When I'm frame ready, but with the game's frame ready, it's not as bad. Uh, I wanted to sell stuff. Though it's still pretty bad. All right, cool. Apparently salvage doesn't cost item units, which is good. Tech Bench, thank you very much for the bits. And MK Ling, thank you for 22 months, I love you. If you ever looked at your ex and wondered why, oh my god. Yeah, it's super weird. I couldn't tell you why. I, only a handful of spaces, and they're very specific, give me frame rate issues, and I, I don't know. Maybe it's a CPU problem, or... I don't know. Just me, or I can't I see chat? It might be just you, Matt. I'm thinking it might just be you, buddy. Alright. Let's go to Aya. on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. All stop, now! Cat ships, a dozen. No, more. Capital T's everywhere. Got the scorch. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, scan them back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my web. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! <laughs> It will be tight. Hello? Yes! 
I like it tight. <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? <sighs> Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. <sighs> Open a comm. Tov Jagalesto. Tov Jagalesto. Mm, let's just stay calm. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear, we're the galactic good guys. Ethanola, Farhan and Gasad Regara. Ethanola. <laughs> They're forcing us to land. Then we land. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. Uh... What? If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Hmm. <laughs> Oh god, the loading. I almost wish they'd pre render these cutscenes. Well, I mean, I really, really do wish they would. Need me to take my shoes off? <laughs> TSA joke. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Make out. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? Uh, uh, I don't want to be cheesy. I don't want to apologize like a little bitch. Uh, and I don't want to be a demanding asshole, so. We didn't know what we'd find here, to be honest. But I'm open to sharing what we know, if you are. <laughs> honest? Honesty would be a good start. Kiss. Kiss. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Uh, I do not know why they speak English. English. Well. <laughs> Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I feel like she's about to punch me. I suppose. Keep moving. Though maybe that's just how they okay, stand. Okay. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. I mean, universal translators, yeah, but if you have no indexing for how it works, that does... 
I mean, I guess that makes sense, like, just from like a sci-fi perspective. Unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. But, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I feel like there'd be some science behind it. You couldn't just walk up to a random thing that's never been found before by your translator and understand it. You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. Your tracksuit looks like you're a trouble. douche. Then keep moving. You can stay all you want, baby. None of the local flora register in my data files. Can I be scanning? Put that away. Oh no! Take it easy. Okay. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. Fucking drew on me in a minute. What happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. There you go. That's a correct answer. This is the Resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are bullies. But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran. Not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak. No. I'm telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Hmm. <laughs> Man, they get really all up in you. Our experience with the cat makes us oh, naturally yeah. distrustful of all aliens. By the way, I can't talk today. <laughs> Realized the past like six of my sentences have been, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, awful. Just really fucking bad and not even correct sentence structure. It's bad. It's a lot of like uh, half thoughts that get put into a sentence and then none of it makes sense. So, you know, sorry. We've had our own run ins with the cat. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state, took what he wanted as if we were nothing. Now, the cat mercilessly abducted Angara, often. We never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the cat kidnap you? It's a see silent V. And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. Mm -hmm. My people from the Milky Way were bold enough to come to Andromeda. I need to be at least that bold to save them. Hmm. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant, recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to be an asshole. I'll do without her. That sounds sympathetic. Uh, these are poopy choices. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. 
I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. Hm. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Hell yeah! It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. <laughs> Me too. That was awesome. That was great. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't just automatically know. <laughs> so he just fucking like moved his hand. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Oh. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. That was great. So he's in my Yo Jaw. He's my sniper, I suppose. Got the Avenger Strike too. So basically he's like uh he's kinda like a Sumi a little bit. So I think Avenger Strike, yeah, it's the teleport and the backstab. And it's considered a melee attack. So doing a melee build on an oh, I mean I really want that. Okay. So Weapon Force. Max shields, max health. Melee shield damage. I really want the Angarn Avenger. Sticky Nays, just get him. It's got a scouter just like Garrus, too? Yeah, a little bit. Huh. Mainly, I'm I'm tough to I'm tough thinking I should put in like a level six ability simply because I don't know if they're gonna spam it as effectively as they would as just having like higher up uh, basic stuff. That's kind of why I don't just bum rush something automatically. Passes wouldn't be too bad, but ability leveling up really quick. Eh, I don't know. It's tough. Wait, his energy drain is not already. Oh wow, his does not already detonate. Things I did not know. <laughs> you can scan power levels? Exactly. Hmm. I know giving them more shields is great because hardcore is brutal. Um, I think I'll do that. Enemy gel shoots take. Oh. Hello. Do less damage. Let's do that. Let's do the suppressing fire and then I'll. Pop that on. That's solid. I like him a lot. How many points? I got four. Oh, I can actually level stuff up. Nice. So I guess I'll give that to you. Meow. Hmm. Interesting. So their passives are different than anything else's passives. Off the she like she just gets disruptor ammo. Awesome. Love it. Hmm. To all power effect durations. Ah, uh, I think we'll do recharge speeds instead. And I can get turbo. So yeah, next level I can start getting the rest of their abilities, which is solid. Drac. So, and he, of course, I was going to say, I bet he gets incendiary ammo. Fantastic. PB gets... Is it warp ammo? No, she gets other stuff. Team biotic damage. Well, yeah, their passives are super cool. I'm sad I didn't realize how cool they were until just now. Fragnades. What do you have? Nothing else that's too crazy. All right, we'll give you. Uh, how much is it doing? 172. Let's let's give you more damage. And I have to wait. Okay, I only have one point. Yeah, we're gonna wait on this. 
Why does my backlash keep getting unmapped? It's happened like every time. Is it? Do I need like? Oh, is it because it's loading the profile? And it ah, that's exactly why. There we go. There we go. That's why. Because when, when I loaded into the game, it loaded the profile, and the profile didn't have backlash, and that's why I had to respec it every single time. That makes sense. Is there a rank three bonus? Instead of jump jet, use box, jump and evades. Oh, that's just by default. Got it. Or maybe that is next. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. I understand. That's just, it's great because it's like a passive and it's just kind of whatever. Awesome. So, if you four points, invest in bionics. Sweet. Explorer. Explorer is just kind of like a jack of all trades. Biotic Blink. Ooh. Cloak evades. Biotic things. Melee attacks. Restore shields. What? What? Absorb your mode whenever damage gets past shields. Nice. I didn't look at all these passives. These are really cool. Man, I really almost want to... I'm excited to have different playthroughs now, because these, like, actual profiles are pretty freaking nifty. RNG, thank you for 30 months. I love ya! Hope you're doing good, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have my not broken guy. That, uh... Isn't broken. Happy camper on that guy. Anyways, continuing. So, this is, I guess, a... I want to do the map. This is, I guess, a new little, like, store hub area, I suppose. I wonder if I'll ever be able to explore Aya. Maybe one day. Hello. You can get right in your face. Trade? Trade. Trade. <laughs> Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? <laughs> we have credits, but little to spend them on. You think you might spend them here? Could be. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. And what do you offer? Explaining oh, no. economics. What do you want? Your ship. Not for sale. <laughs> Worth a try. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. <sighs> we might have different definitions of trouble. What do you mean? Natural hazards, wild predators, misadventure, what do you mean? Same thing. What's your supplier carrying exactly? Supplies I need, exactly. Things to keep my people alive. Essentials. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Kovo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Nice. Was Soka... <laughs> Did he play Blitzball? Yeah, it was just... Fixed up and ready to fly. Nice. Is there someone on the ship? Hello! Stars above! It's you. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is that a... Is it true you can never go back? That yeah. accessory on your face. This is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life. Why did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. 
There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajar, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? Uh, not much. I still have a lot to learn. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. Hmm. I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know, and if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. It takes guts to stand up to him. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. I'd face worse to get a piece of you back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You're trusting your history with Sorry, an outsider? What? I know what people say about you, but I don't agree. I think you're here to help. I am. Now's your chance to prove it. You want to earn Aya's respect, right? Recovering our past will go a long way. All right. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Moy's a yes man. I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. Okay. Can I scan things now? Aha! I can't scan the Angara though. That's a shame. Ooh, hello. The Angara main spacecraft is capable of making extended interstellar voyages. Chemical, oh, fuel, plastic compounds, higher metals. Hey. Metal made it. That guy tossed really weird. Thank you for the reset, Metal Mania. Sorry to hear it. I mean, our luck's running high when you think I'm about scared. it. The cat are bound to figure out how to get here someday. Let's just hope it's later rather than sooner. Hello. I'm just gonna awkwardly listen in on your conversation. Fun killer, thank you for 20, man. Uh, I guess that's all I can do right now, huh? Cause I can't go in the city until I guess I'm trusted and whatnot. Hello, am alien. The resistance needs volunteers. Translated from Shalesh. <clears throat> they can't have felt power of the resistance, and now their end is coming. Our victories on Vold are only the beginning of what we can achieve, but we can't defeat the enemy without your help. If you're tired of living in fear, if you believe we are meant for something greater than slavery, if you're willing to stand up and fight, you'll find a new family in the Resistance. We'll train you to strike back at the Ket and reclaim what is ours. The Resistance defends the future of all Angara. Join us. Radio Newsman. Loose lips sink, sink sh Ugh. Loose lips sink ships. <laughs> Hard to say. Can't say it fast. I can't say it in my radio voice. Loose lips sink ships, comrade. Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing like it. Where do you see the inside? <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? Let's do it. I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. Bully for you, Pathfinder! Bully! I actually played Teddy Roosevelt's in a, in a play in high school. It was a joke. Well, technically it wasn't actually Teddy. It was a guy who thought he was Teddy Roosevelt, but still. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. I agree. <laughs> Only slightly. What? Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Why is he in the corner? Do the translators not work? 
they work. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's a fair point. Jal? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Hmm. Leadership. Don't know yet. Just be ready to go at a moment's notice. Got it? You bet. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Man, they really do hammer home just how, like, new Ryder is to this. I hope that he does get some character development along the way to where he, he starts feeling like a leader. Because it definitely shines through to where a lot of this is, you know, pretty much brand spanking new. Uh, he wasn't supposed to be Pathfinder. He wasn't supposed to be doing what he's doing. So I'm glad it's not just like the cliche all of a sudden, yes, I rose to the challenge and I mean, I'm all of a sudden became like the greatest leader. You know, like someone flipped a switch. Uh, I do feel like they hammer it home a little bit too much. Uh, I guess I'm on the fence of whether or not I like that more versus the cliche. <laughs> uh, but yeah. If anything, at least it's a welcome change. You know, it feels like a different story than the original Mass Effect trilogy. But right now, I guess, like, the biggest thing is there doesn't... I don't feel like there's really any sense of urgency, which isn't, like, really bad. Uh, but, like, why Why are we in a rush to, like, our mission is a priority? Like, why? Why is it? We already kind of have a planet going. That's a start. I don't know. Maybe I just... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, a little more confidence in Ryder would be nice, even with the deep shade of green. Yeah. I can agree with you there. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. Anything on VidCon? I've yet to use that. The lighting still pops in and out, but I feel like the game is running better with the newest drivers. If I had to make like one sweeping complaint about this game and its graphics, is that the light pops in and out so much. 
Emotion. And the weird FPS drops at random fucking moments, too. That is also very strange. Very strange. Oh, I haven't done that today. I didn't even freaking check my strike teams. Boop. Uh... There we go. That was weird. Does take a while for that to work. I think my game just crashed. Oh, nope. There. Man, this is. Oh, okay. It's a menu bug. Well, then. Uh, I think that's bronze. That's gold. That's gold. That's gold. That's silver. Hmm. What are my chances of any of these golds? 15? 11, 29? Well, you know what? Go big or go home. 29% chance. It could be worse. So that probably passes the story. Yeah, but I guess because like I'm currently not allowed to explore as much as I want. Like, you don't have to have a sense of urgency, but, like, don't pretend to have it either. Pick a direction, you know? That's just me. Could be just a me thing. Uh, how many credits do I have? 6k? I'm getting up there. I guess I could go ahead and get the Piranha. The Piranha is a really sexy shotgun, but until I'm, like, getting in close, shotguns are kind of worthless to me. I feel. Oh baby, army dude, thank you for 17 months. I love ya. You're fantastic. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hey. I need those meditation crystals. Hmm. What do I need? I need remnant cores and then meditation crystals is what I need. That's right. No, you don't got to play any of the previous Mass Effects to understand this one. Aya has so much biodiversity and the waterfalls. Just like Sir Kesh. Hmm. Aw. Missing home. Alright. Anomaly on sensors. So here we are. In this brave new world. So we went right through the... Why did we go... I guess we're not using FTL travel. So, like, we have to physically go through things and actually do normal travel. It's always weird thinking about that. That you don't just jump somewhere. At least not... At least not like, uh, Mass Effect relay jumps. Beryllium deposit. I'll take it. Asteroid contains large quantities of frozen water, unusual for this particular asteroid belt, and a possible host of microbial life. Pretty sure beryllium is also radioactive. Pretty sure. Obey row. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure that the, there's something with the lighting that causes these FPS drops that I see. Best guess that I have. Because it seems to only happen when there's oh, like a really crazy light Lisa. source involved. I'm picking up something. It's so weird. I don't understand it. Uh, Sniper Scree, thank you for eight months. My day has been good. Brand new subscriber. Frolic, thank you for the brand new sub with Twitch Prime. I love you. You're fantastic. Obeiro's surface is primarily composed of iron, but mountains rich with less common metals dot the landscape. Scans indicate that the Angara have often sent mining expeditions here. Okay. Oh, I see it. Boop. I couldn't make it more obvious. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Boop. 
Only 80 in that whole deposit? Please. Uh, so, so, we already were, yeah, we were already at Aya. To Merav. Merav. Hi, when is the giveaway? Have you read the command or done anything involved of learning about the giveaway? Because all the information is there. It's surprisingly not listed, but believe it or not, to win the giveaway requirement, you have to be able to read. And if you can't, and you happen to win, well, it's gonna be SOL. May Rav, the Angara have established a research station on the boiling, toxic sur surface of May Rav, but it appears unmanned and in danger of destruction. Perhaps the Angara lacked the resources to maintain it. I mean, it looks pretty bad down there. Why would you want to have a research station there? Like, I, I've always wondered that. Like, why? Like, what is the what is the scientific advantage of like being in a hellscape? You know. I did, Kangaroo. I answered you earlier, and you can easily check. Do you want to know how you can know if I want my bitrate? You click on the cog on your stream, and then I think it's like show video stats, and it'll tell you your playback rate. But you've asked numerous times. Second time, I believe I've answered you. Plus, I think chat's answered you too. Anomaly on sensors. Gotta pay attention, yo. What you got? Satellite detected. Oh, cat satellite. A cat satellite is well concealed, low in Saint Seal's orbit. Doubtless designed to observe and garn activities in the system. Disabling it permanently is a simple task. Done. I broke it. That's a good point. I guess you could learn how to make really durable things if it can survive in lava. But I guess, like, why not just, like, bring some of that lava back or something, right? And just keep it heated? I have no idea. I ain't no smarty pants. So I can go back to Aya, but I can't actually do anything there. I'm not technically done there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they, uh... Dang. It's a lot of stuff to look at. Havarl. The may sound like Vold was next. That Havarl will be stuck. Because Faral is the uh, home world of the Angara. Vold is, I think, where they're fighting at? Unsure. Death worlds give a potentially great amount of resources that would normally go undiscovered. This is usually why they explore potential exploitation. I gotcha. Uh, I'm biotics mainly chaos right now. I have a couple of ideas of what I want to do uh, Down the line when I have more skill points, but I definitely want to go into biotics pretty heavily But I might switch to a little bit of combat too and kind of go the Vanguard route do like uh, oh, Man, there's so many options. I would love to do Oh My god, I don't even know Charge, Annihilation Fields, and then, I don't even know, man. I couldn't even tell you. Maybe something that's like uh, on cooldown like Lance, and then I have Biotics on kill on my Annihilation Field and Lance, and then just go freaking ape on people. Seems like a pretty solid idea. Onion. Every century, Fetvoon's orbital path takes it dangerously near a stretch of Scourge. It appears to be bleeding atmosphere as a consequence. Dude, ouch. Need that ozone, baby. Need that OZ. 
So I haven't technically scanned I I yet. So let me do that just so I can uh, have this area completed. You want to play a high mobility melee type character? Then yeah, probably something that's like using charge as your initiation to get in close uh, and even to escape a cluster. Uh, then something like, uh, I guess you can't take Fortify. Nothing like that as a normal character. I couldn't tell you. Oh, sorry, that was not Oneon. That was the, oh, that's shit. I misread that. That planet was... Fedfoon. My bad. Sorry, we're in the system of Onan. Oneon. How do you say it? Okay. Sabang, Nalesh, Joba. Man, I want to explore all these guys, but... Personally, I want to get to a new planet because I've been very patient. So let's go to the area where Volt is. We'll explore there and then hit up Volt. Is Sir, no is Sir Isaac Newton still the most deadly son of a bitch in space in this game? Fuck yeah. It does sound like we are more technologically advanced than uh, the Angara are. I don't know about the cat, but they were like, we've never seen a ship like this. Blah, blah, blah. That, I don't know. They made it kind of sound like, um, what we have is pretty special. So I'm curious about that. Get in there. It's going good, Kev. Enhance. 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 This asteroid is honeycombed with artificial caverns. A few fragments of remnant technology remain, though it appears another party, perhaps the Ket, removed the rest. Cool. We'll see, though. Hey! Finnis, back from vacation, picking up my new puppy! Anomaly on sensors. Congratulations, enjoy your new pup dog. Happy two years, my friend. Thank you so much. Boosh! Detecting what's left of a ship. SOS, Starship Wreckage. This empty and garin escape pod appears to have been drifting over Pass 55 for nearly a decade. Marking suggests it came from an exploratory vessel. Its data is now yours to carry forward. Hmm. Quarian nav processor. What? If it's an Angaran oh, escape pod, why would it have Lisa. that? Hmm. Thinking emoji. AJ Souter. Yo, thank you very much for the six months, dude. Uh, Pass 55, hydrogen and methane comprise the bulk of Pass 55 atmosphere. Innumerable tiny satellites drift low in the gas giant's orbit, too dispersed to form a proper ring. Beastly top tier of the day, thank you very much, man. 200 bits of Renos. Fly! Brand new subscriber. Uh, Rob OS, thanks for the brand new sub with Twitch Prime too. Thank you very much, man. Hope you're enjoying the show. Hope you're enjoying Andromeda as like, much as I am. In the eye of a hurricane. Storm. This massive hurricane is carrying a sort of nitrogen-adapted plankton over the ocean. Uh, Detivios appears to be home to simple life forms. Nice. So it's Detivios is the land. Uh, is a largely covered in oceans of nitrogen churned by powerful winds. The storms make detailed surface scans difficult. It's pretty cold though. But I guess nitrogen is... That's always interesting, because whenever, whenever I think of, like, temperature and then, like, storms, I always think of, uh, water being the liquid, but 
lots of different <laughs> elements exist that can exist in liquid forms, right? And it can even be used in normal weather patterns. The difference being is that that wouldn't be habitable, you know? But those planets do exist. They'd just be dangerous. Here we go. Let's meet the resistance, shall we? Yeah, chemical storms. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Look at that beauty. Vold. Vold is a world going through an ice age. Once packed with dozens oh, of major urban centers, most of Vold's and Garn population now lives in scattered settlements. The remains of a vast, ancient cities are still entombed in ice. Nice. All right then, let's get in there. Thank you very much, Andy FM, for the resub. Two months. All right, Valkyrie and the Not Broken. I'm cool with that. Got my Cryo Gauntlet. Ah, uh, I could use the Falcon instead. I feel like Falcon might be better for me. Hmm. Do I just have the magazine? Yeah. Yeah, we'll bring the Falcon instead. Ah, uh, I just dislike how I'm, ugh, I'm overweight. Ugh. I'm fat as hell. It is ten smaller. Yeah, sorry. We'll stick with the Valkyrie then. 15% is better than 25. How heavy is the, uh... That's 25 as well. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. It's alright, though. Plow through it. Okay. Oh, actually, I have mods. Mix... Ooh! I mean... Is that really good, though? I mean, I guess so. I'll take it. The improved snowable perk. Do I get banned for saying fuck? No, because this is this is a mature stream. So she's kind of. I don't really need both of them, do I? Let's bring Jaw. Seems like he'd be someone to have around for this type of mission. Dude, we are we're in the Visor Club. I'm not cool enough to have a visor. Take her down, Callow. 